international boxing news. I'm here with boxing manager Dan Naylor. Yeah, absolute pleasure. So, uh, you finally got your man Ryland, the fight against Sky's uh, hotshot Adam Azim. I know you've been vocal on social media. You think, uh, Azim's not handling the pressure of being this golden boy. But this is the one we want to win. Do you think Adam is the, the talent that Fire and Shane would really think he is? Yeah, Shane knows what he's doing. I've really raised Shane up. He's a great trainer. I think he's a nice guy. What I've seen about him, he's all right. He's going to go far, clearly. But this is just way too soon. I think they've put too much on him. Personally, I think he looks nervous. It's just too much on the He's a young lad. He's a talented man, but I just don't want to drink. Is it the uh, physical or the mental side or both? Because I was saying to Ryland, having seen them both up close, Adam's still got that boyish waist look about him physically. Adam's a strong kid. Look what he's doing there. The opposition isn't great, but still, you've got to put him away. He was doing it. Good, good fashion. I'm not stupid, but yeah, I think mentally, he'll be halfway there. He'll be halfway there before you get in the ring. So I think Charlton's so chilled. I'm sitting here today. This isn't an act. The guy, I've been on the train with him down this morning. It's just that it kid. He's loving it. He's thinking he's brilliant. I think all the pressure is on Adam. I think it's way too much for him. And then I think physically in there, the first few rounds, they're going to they're gonna be tough. I expect Adam to win. But was the fight difficult to make? I know um, a month ago it was being talked about maybe a couple of times and it never seemed to happen. I know you were vocal about it on social yeah, media. I did get my back up a little bit and we turned down, I'm not going to say the name, but we turned down some big fights with good money because I was told this fight was there and we were having it. I think this was way back in the uh, summer. So yeah, we kept fighting our time and we said, I'll oh, give you a good count. And then all of a sudden, they just said, oh, we're not ready for it yet. It's not happening. And the phone went dead. And I was like, oh, God, no, I turned down two or three big fights for him. So I don't know what happened there. My personal opinion, maybe, maybe he had a bad sparring experience with someone, or that's, that's the only thing we take from it. So we were basically told, you know, this is the fight, it's going to happen in summer, and then all of a sudden, no, it's probably not going to happen for another year or 18 months. Uh, so I thought it was dead in the water. Uh, and then they come back and said, are oh, you still keen? I know, I know we have a little. Didn't have to last time, but we're looking to go for it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, as long as it's definite, this I can't be turning that fight for the man who's got a young child, you know, he's got bills to pay, he's not fighting, he's not getting paid. So, and then all of a sudden it comes together quite quickly, and they were great to work with. So, I'm not sure what happened the first time, I'd say maybe he had a bad spar, maybe he got hurt in spar, and they thought, oh, we'll, we'll swerve this, and then after another few wins, they thought, actually, we need to push Adam on now, let's, let's get him in with our people. I was calling for it, I was calling for it, but, but fans want this fight, they want to see it, they want to see how good he is. So if, if he's the real deal, and he's the everything, they're talking about a multi-weight world champion, then it's a deal for the people like Tom, but he won't put the job there, he's going to put the pressure on to break it down to make his way around. As Ryland pointed out, no one dealt with him in that sense, I mean, even Mark is two division cup had a hard time with him. Um, I mean, you know what this game's like, how cruel and ruthless it is. Um, Ryland's an exciting fighter, he's a good personality, and yet uh, none of the big promoters or you know, media outlets have sort of taken him on to sort of push him. Uh, it's well worthy of going for some title, and yet he seems to be fought in as a 
a measuring stick for these hot shot frosts. Yeah, I think age is a factor. Um, it wasn't a standout amateur. He was good at the Yellows in 1945. One over three quarters was a decent amateur, but he didn't have uh, an ATP sale. He's done it the hard way. He's said, you know, he's got a strong short show, he's playing, 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 he's Is he getting paid uh, decently for this fight? Yeah, it's a good pay. I've, I've seen it. It's a good pay that he's captured now. We could have, we could have got a small fight in a four hundred or six hundred and warm-up fight. We're getting far far up to him. We're getting up to him. Yeah, he's not there for a fight. He's getting paid well. And so we should fight him. Supposedly, he's not there for a fight. He's not there for a fight. He's not there for a fight. Absolutely. After this fight, whatever the result is, um, would you like to get him into some tight fights? I mean, it's well worth it. Yeah, I mean, if you drop back down to 